how to update your email account settings in Outlook on an iOS device. If your online content has migrated to TSO Host's new and improved hosting platform, you'll need to update your email account settings. We're going to show you how to do this in Outlook on an iOS device. Updating these settings is critical to continue accessing your email accounts when moving to a new server. Or it might also be necessary for troubleshooting if you're having issues with receiving or sending emails. But before we proceed, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And you could click the little bell logo so you'll be told when our next how-to video debuts. So where do you find your email account settings? To begin this process, open your internet browser app and navigate to my.tsohost.com. Then sign into your account. Select the burger menu, the three lines at the top right of the screen. Then choose services and my services from the drop down. This takes you to the my products and services page. Scroll down to my services, then scroll down the list until you find your cPanel. Ours is cPanel maximum, yours may be a different package. Then click the green active button. This takes you to your Manage Product page, where you'll click Log into cPanel. Then, navigate to the cPanel Admin button, and that will take you to your cPanel dashboard. You could scroll all the way down to the section called Email, or simply type Email in the search bar, which is what we're doing. Now, select Email Accounts. Then, choose the email address you want to set up on your email client, and choose Manage on the right-hand side. This takes you to an email settings page. Scroll down to Configure and click the Connect Devices button. This takes you to the Setup Mail Client page. There are options for automatic configuration, however, for this tutorial, we're looking at the manual settings. The same settings can be used on other email clients as well. Where our incoming and outgoing servers are named after the hosting server, yours will be called something different, depending on the server your domain has been added to. So what's the difference between secure SSL and non-SSL servers? Simply put, a secure SSL connection is, as the name suggests, more secure, and therefore we recommend it. Now, it's important at this point to ensure you remember your email account password. Might even be worth taking this opportunity to update your password. Now, a word about the difference between IMAP and POP3. Using IMAP will keep your messages on the server in the cloud, so you can access them on any device. IMAP is suggested for people who are using more than one email client on different devices. POP3 downloads the messages locally onto your computer or phone. If someone uses POP3, it's possible to see all the messages only on a single email client, and you won't see those messages on your webmail because they aren't stored on the server. Because of its added flexibility, we would always suggest using IMAP. Now, adding your email account to Outlook on iOS. We'll assume that you've already installed your Outlook app. So, starting on your home screen, Go and find it and open it. If you already have an account, this will take you to your inbox. Click the icon at the top left. This opens up a side menu. Then press the envelope with the plus sign at the top. This gives you two options, and we want to add an email account. If you don't already have an account added to this app, when you open it, it will immediately ask you to add an account. So add your chosen email address and click Add account. This will automatically take you to an IMAP page. Before you fill in any of these details, activate the Use Advanced Settings option. In here, you enter the display name for your account, which is either your name or whatever name you want this account to have. Then a short description. This will help you tell your email accounts apart. Now, you need to delete the default incoming server information and replace it with the details you saved earlier. Now, it will autofill the IMAP port information, but make sure that's correct. If not, update it with the info you saved earlier. Then scroll down to the IMAP password and enter that. It's the same as your email account password. 
scroll down again to the SMTP area and replace the SMTP host name with the details you saved earlier. Double check that the auto-filled SMTP port is correct and if it isn't, correct it with again the details you saved earlier. Now, scroll down to the SMTP password and enter that. It's the same password as before. Then sign in. It will now take you through a sequence of pop-ups for you to accept or decline, at the end of which you click Continue to Outlook. At this point, we don't want to add another account, so we're selecting Maybe Later. And this takes you to your inbox. It'll take a while to download your messages, so don't panic if they're not there straight away. But that's it. You're good to go. So there you have our guide to adding your email account settings to Outlook on your iPhone. Before you go, feel free to like this video and click the subscribe button. Then you can hit the little bell logo so you'll be told when our next how-to video debuts. You could also come and find us on social media and tell us which how-to videos you'd like to see us make next.